those are always being upgraded. The software, however, doesn't really change unless you move between major call manager versions. As I mentioned, we're talking about Call Manager 4.x in this series. And in version 4.1 and 4.2 of Call Manager, along with you could even say 3.3, .3, you are running Windows 2000 server. It's a, it's a server platform with SQL 2000 installed alongside it. SQL 2000 is the directory or the database that is managing all of your devices. When you add a phone, maybe you add a Cisco IP phone 7960, which is a common uh, main phone that Cisco uh, has released, you are going to assign extensions to that phone. We'll say extension 1001 and extension 1002 um, are assigned to the first two lines on the phones. That is stored in the SQL 2000 database mapped to the MAC address of this device. Call plans. Uh, the calling restrictions, the applications that are available, all of those are mapped in the SQL 2000 database and that's where it's stored. So I would say the most critical thing about your Cisco call manager is that database. When you're backing it up, that is the number one thing you back up. Because the call manager could explode. You could lose everything, but if you've got the database, you can restore your entire infrastructure. Call Manager is just an image. You just stick in the image CDs and it'll re-image Call Manager. But SQL 2000, that's, that's where everything's at. DC Directory. DC Directory is the user database. Just put a little user tag next to that. That is what stores all of your user accounts if your Call Manager database is separate from your network database. What I mean by that is there are tools that you can use to integrate, to tie Cisco Call Manager to, we'll say, Microsoft Active Directory. And all of the user accounts and passwords that you have in Active Directory can be used by Cisco Call Manager. Otherwise, you have to have separate user accounts. You know, somebody says, oh, my username and password to log in to manage my phone is this, but my username and password to log into Windows is this. You can tie those direct, uh, directories together. If you are using Call Manager on its own, meaning you're not integrating into Active Directory, DC Directory is what stores your users. Last but not least, you have BARS, Backup and Restore System. This is the utility that helps backup key areas of the call manager without backing up the entire server, meaning you don't need to back up all of the software on there because that's just a 30 minute image to install. BARS backs up database and, and critical pieces of the call manager. Finally, 4.3, the last 4.x current version that is out there, is the same as above except they replace the Windows 2000 foundation operating system with Windows 2003. Now, I know some of you are thinking, oh, finally, you know, Windows 2008 servers uh, about or already uh, uh, out there. Why, you know, we're just getting the Windows 2003. You're thinking with a Microsoft mindset when you think that way. They could have stayed, in my opinion, on Windows 2000 and been just fine because the operating system doesn't matter. It's just there. You know what I mean? It's just there to, to keep the server running, to communicate on the network. We don't, it's not like when we move to Windows 2003, we're going to suddenly get new features that we use from Windows 2003. It's, it's just there. That is the fundamentals of what Cisco Call Manager is all, all about. I feel like I have so much information in my head that I just want to relay. I feel like I just I keep trying to throw more stuff out there, and I go, oh, we'll talk about that later. So forgive me if I, if I keep throwing uh, dangling carrots out there. We will be talking about a lot of this in depth throughout the series. To review, we talked about the unified communications taking over the world, meaning Cisco's strategy isn't to create this proprietary lock, but to offer a solution that meets every area of business, voice, video, and data over a common infrastructure. That's what it's all about. Well, then We then looked at uh, the Cisco Unified Call Manager or Unified Communication Manager, depending on which new name you're talking about, being the call processing solution for everything. We looked at the version madness, version 4.0 being the most popular, 5.0 being the Linux build for large business, 6.0 being the small medium business solution, uh, also running on Linux. And then we looked at the components that make it tick, both hardware that you need to purchase, specialized server equipment to run this, and software that is running behind the scenes to make Call Manager operate. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.